Shifting focus now to Bangladesh. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina made a rather big revelation. She claimed that a foreign power has offered her a hassle-free re-election if she allows them to build an air base inside her country. You heard that right. Now, this offer is essentially in exchange for a seat for the air base. In fact, although she did not reveal which country made that offer, it does raise serious questions about who would be bold enough to intervene in another country's democratic process just to build an airbase. And what strategic interest does this foreign power even have in making such an offer? Why did Sheikh Hasina not mention the name of the country? After all, it has to do with the integrity of democratic processes and so it is concerning. And here's what we know so far. Hasina, who has been ruling the strategically located country since 2009, secured a fifth overall term in election in January. And on Sunday, the Daily, Daily Star Bangladesh, the Daily Star Bangladesh, quoted Hasina as saying, if I allowed a certain country to build an airbase in Bangladesh, then I would have had no problem. Like East Timor, they will carve out a Christian country, taking parts of Bangladesh and Myanmar with a base in the Bay of Bengal. Now, she did not name the country that had made the offer to her, but emphasized that the offer, quote-unquote, came from a white man. So how did Hasina respond to that request? The Bangladesh Prime Minister said that she gave the same reply as she did in 2001 when the U.S. offered to sell the country's gas to India. She said, and I'm quoting now, I've clearly said that I am the daughter of the father of the nation. We won our liberation war. I don't want to come to power by renting part of the country or handing it over to some other country. And I don't need power. Hasina says that she told the said foreign leader that she will only come to power if the people wanted her to. The Bangladeshi Prime Minister further said that trade and commerce have been going on in the Bay of Bengal and the Indian Ocean since ancient times. She said that many have had their eyes on this region. She said that the region has never seen controversy or conflict and vowed that she will not let conflict happen over the region. The revelation by the Bangladeshi Prime Minister undoubtedly leaves a lot of room for speculation. Given the geostrategic advantage of Bangladesh, it's not surprising that a foreign power would want to build an airbase. The question is, who would be so bold as to interfere in its poll process? Could the US be considering building an airbase in Bangladesh to counter China's power? Would having an airbase in Bangladesh give the US a significant advantage over China? Sheikh Hasina has accused this foreign power of wanting to carve out a Christian state like East Timor using Bangladesh and Myanmar territory. After all, the Bangladeshi Prime Minister's re relationship with the US has been strained even before the recent elections. But as the leader of the free world and one of the oldest democracies, would the US really make such an offer? And if it wasn't the US, then which other country will actually benefit from disregarding the democratic processes in the interest of building an airbase? We don't have the answers, only questions. Sheikh Hasina may have put the matter to rest for now with her prompt response. But is the danger really over? To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.